Hi friends. Good morning. How are you? I have a little friend with me. Can you see him? All right, guys. Some of you might have gotten some surprises in your yard yesterday from us because we had a special gift given to us from Stonebridge Church to our daycare. And they gave us a whole bunch of Easter eggs filled with candy. And we agreed to go and egg your houses. So if you didn't get eggs in your yard yet, don't worry. We didn't forget about you. We just couldn't get to all the houses yesterday. So we're gonna work on that today too. And, hey Alec, I have, I have a question. Alec wants to show you guys his Pokemon cards, okay? So while we're letting some of our friends join us, he's gonna show you his Pokemon cards. He picked his two favorites, okay? They're really good. All right, they're really good. Okay, show us your Pokemon cards, please. I got one giant one and two of them. Over ones. here, show them. They're really cool. Which are like Let's see. Things. Let's hold them up. Here's his two favorites that he has. And Do you guys have Pokemon cards at your one house? One big one. And a big one. Look how big it is compared to these little ones. They're all those sizes, except we have one ginormous one. Is that cool or what? All right, friends. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to see your messages today, which makes me really sad because I love to see what you're saying. So if anybody's out there watching, if you could just send us a message so I can see if it's working, okay? And I tried to turn off my notifications today. Hey, Rich, how are you? Hello. Send me a message so I can see if it's working. Just be like, hey, or give me a wave or a smiley face or something. Or, of course, send us some love, right? Okay, so Alec is showing us his Pokemon cards. And um, I was talking about our egg delivery, okay? So if you haven't received your eggs yet, or if you're not a customer of ours at Fremont Children's Academy, if you message me your address, I would love to come and egg your house for your child to have an egg hunt, okay, outside. And it's a surprise. So don't tell your kids. Kids, if you're watching, plug your ears, okay? Parents, send me, send me a message with your address and I will come and egg your house for your kiddos, okay? All right, so um, we are gonna play a game today instead of doing a craft. We're gonna read two of Alex's favorite Easter books. In fact, he likes to read these books even when it's not Easter. He loves this Curious George book and he loves this Clifford book, okay? This one's probably his favorite. So we're gonna read those two books today, okay guys? I'm not getting any messages, so I'm guessing I'm not gonna be able to see your comments today, okay? And um, I will go back through though. I can see them later on. If you, if you comment, then I can see um, your messages later, okay? All right, I love reading your messages, so please leave us a comment, all right? What else are we gonna do today? A game, okay? So if you haven't received your eggs outside your house yet, you will today. And um, also, you're gonna need to save the eggs. After you eat all the candy, you're gonna need to save the eggs for our game that we're doing today. Unless you have uh, eggs, Easter eggs at your house sitting around, so we're gonna do uh, a game instead of a, a craft today, okay? And we'll show you where we left off with our chicks from last time. What else are we gonna do? We found Boom Chicka Boom Easter version. We're gonna do Boom Chicka Boom Easter version, okay? What else? Um, we're gonna do a food craft, okay? And we're just finding some supplies around the house. So you might have to improvise too because some things we don't have and we're just trying to find some fun food crafts that are Easter related from the stuff that we already have at our house. So we're gonna use graham crackers. Still popped in, I still have my Pokemon cards. He still has his Pokemon cards, guys. I have a bunch of them. Somebody send me a comment so I can see if my commenting is working, okay? Can you send me a comment? Just send me an emoji or send me your child's name would be awesome so we can sing to them today, okay? Because I can't see any comments yet. I'm still yes, figuring this out. Right there. I feel like I'm not making a lot of progress on my on my tech, tech figuring out here. Okay, so right then there. we're gonna need, that doesn't say anything. We're gonna need graham crackers. This is what we're using anyway. Graham crackers, 
a cheese stick, green food coloring, blue food coloring, frosting, and coconut. Okay, that's what we came up with today. Oh, Bonita, hello. She sent a silly face. You'll have to let me know where Paxson and Tatum are today so we can go egg their house, okay? That's our plan. All right, and guess what else? Alec doesn't know this yet. It's a surprise for Alec. He is gonna do some homework, okay? Sam and Louie's Pizza, which has delicious food, they are giving away free kids meals. So if you go to their Facebook page, they, I know, he didn't know he was gonna get a free kids meal, but he's gotta do homework. So we're gonna do a math game. Please be po polite, okay? You don't wanna miss out on your Sam and Louie's. Okay, so we're gonna do a math page that they posted, and it, he's gonna do the addition or maybe subtraction. Listen, you gotta know. Do you like Alex's new jammies? His grandma gave them to him in his Easter basket from his grandma. Okay, so if you do a homework page from Sam and Louise, if you go to their Facebook page and you bring it in, you get a free kids meal. And their food is so good, their pizza is amazing. So what Alec and I are gonna do, because he's not in, in kindergarten yet, and he's not in first grade yet, so he doesn't know how to do math worksheets. So guess what we're gonna do? Guess what we're gonna do? Math worksheets. We're gonna use candy. Oh. And I'm gonna say, what I'm gonna look at the problem, and I'm gonna what say, Five. If Alec had five pieces of candy and his mom ate three, how many pieces of candy would Alec have left? If you had five and I ate three of them, take away three. Mom, munch, munch, munch. How many do you have left? Oh. Two. That's how we're going to do our math worksheet to bring into Sam and Louie's so he can get a free kid's meal. Oh, candy? Okay, but I bet he's going to use his best manners because if he doesn't, no kids meal from Sam and Louie's, right? Okay, so guys, go to Sam and Louie's Facebook page, print out one of the pages for homework, help your child with it. We're gonna use either Easter eggs or candy, right? To use for math problems. Bring it into Sam and Louie's and you get a free kids meal. So, don't even have to do dishes, guys. And their food is really good. Okay, what else have we been doing? All right, guys, don't forget, you might get your a, your house egg today, okay? Because Stonebridge Church gave us a ton of Easter eggs to deliver to your houses to egg your houses, okay? Hey, Alakai, do you remember what we talked about? Will you go touch the computer? Our computer still is silly. It wants to turn off and doesn't, doesn't hook to our TV then, okay? We're going to need lots of space. And he always likes to jump on our mini trampoline while I'm doing this video. And then I don't think you guys can hear anything that's going on. Okay, so we got two books today, right? We have two Easter books, Alex's favorite Easter books. And then we have a food craft. So you need graham crackers, you need coconut, you need blue food coloring, yellow, no, green food coloring, frosting, and cheese stick. That's what we're using. And then we're gonna do a game. Instead of a craft, we're gonna do a game today. Okay. So, if you have primary colors, you could do the you could do the book in real life. Alex said, if you have primary colors, you could do the book in real life. That's true. I like that you know primary colors. Do you guys know your primary colors? What's a primary color? Can you name some? Red. Red. Which is one. Yellow. Yellow. Which is two. And last but not least, blue. Blue! Okay, okay. those are good. Okay. All right, okay. Alec, can you please put the trampoline away so we have enough room? Because we're going to sing an Easter song today, an Easter version of Boom Chicka Boom. All right, guys, are you ready? Don't forget to comment and send me your child's name. It looks like I can see comments, okay? So send me your child's name so we can sing to them in the welcome song. All right. Alec might jump on the trampoline while we do our songs. That is fine. You guys can do the same thing. You do not need to sit still. You can get up and wiggle around, okay? Because we're going to. Are you ready? Are you ready, Alec? First, we're gonna do Alpha Hardy, remember? So we can learn our letter sounds, okay? You gotta do the actions with me. Oh, I forgot something really important. We're giving away prizes. So don't forget to show us some love on our video. Comment with your child's name and bonus points if you post pictures of your child doing the activities that we're doing. So if you post pictures of them doing our food craft or doing one of the exercises or songs with us, you get bonus points, okay? And you're gonna be entered into our drawing. Show 
Sure. Alec has something to say. Homeschool is awesome. Homeschool is awesome. And I'm not a teacher, okay? So you, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Give yourself some, some credit, okay? All right. Here we go. We're going to turn the camera around, and we are going to start our Alpha Hardy okay. song. Not yet. I'll tell you when we're ready, okay? Alex is going to be our tech guy today. He is going to push play for us. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to see if we can figure this out. Um, let's just turn it around here. Okay, let's see. It's always so bright. Ready? Let's see. Okay, we're ready. Let's... We can't get it. There you go. Can you see? Ready? Ah, ah, ah. Before bounce. Ba, 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 ba. We can't see you. Look at Alec. Ka, ka, ka. Look at Alec. Do the actions, guys. Or elbow. Next we're gonna do, should we do boom chicka boom? Yeah. All right. Boom, oh yeah, we got the bunny hokey hokey pokey too, right? Okay, are you ready? All right guys, you gotta do the actions with it. I don't know why we can't see this very good, but let's close the blinds. See if that helps. Okay, can ready? you see okay? Ready? Yeah, we're gonna do the bunny hokey uh, boom chicka boom, the Easter boom chicka boom. Okay, Alec, we're ready. Boom chicka boom. Here goes. Easter. Do the actions with us, guys. Ready? Available in single song okay. download. Alec, come over here and do it with me. Let's go do closer. Here's Alec. I said a boom chicka boom. I said a boom chicka boom. Easter bunny chicka boom. Chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. Uh huh. Oh yeah. One more time. Bunny hop style. Let's bunny hop chicka boom. Let's bunny hop chicka rocka chicka hop chicka boom. That's tricky. Uh huh. Oh yeah. I can't see you. Flop your ears. Flop your ears, chickaboo. Flop your ears, chickaboo. Flop your ears, chickaboo. Rock a chickaboo. 
Fuck your ears, chicka rocket, chicka rocket, chicka boom. Uh huh. Oh yeah. One more time. Wiggle your nose, chicka boom. Wiggle your nose, chicka boom. Wiggle your nose, chicka rocket, chicka rocket, chicka boom. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One more time. Shake your tail style. <laughs> Shake your tail, chicka boom. Rock a chicka, rock a chicka boom. Shake your tail, chicka, rock a chicka, rock a chicka boom. Uh huh. Oh yeah. One more time. Bunny pose style. Bunny pose, chicka boom. Bunny pose, chicka rocket, chicka rocket, chicka boom. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One more time. Crunch a carrot style. Crunch a carrot, chicka boom. Crunch a carrot, chicka rocket, chicka rocket, chicka boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. One more time. Wait. Wait. He said that my bunny's hot because carrots are so sweet and crunchy. Oh, that was a good one. Did you guys like it? Your favorite. Was it the bunny hop stuff? Allie, did you like that? Was that one really funny? No, that was super was really funny. Way better. Just a minute. Did you guys know that the sign language for, the sign language sign for carrot is this? Now you know sign language to say carrot. So if you guys need a carrot for a snack, you can just tell your parents. Ready? Please. Carrot. Okay. Here, let's make it big. Okay, pokey pokey. So you guys can practice later at your house. Hey, Alec, we gotta read your books now. Actually, we're gonna do the welcome song next. Hey, Alec, come do the welcome song with me, please. Okay, guys, if you're watching or your child's watching, send me their names. That way we can sing their name in the welcome song, okay? Hey, Alec, do you wanna join me? 
Okay, don't push play, okay? He's looking for more songs for us. Okay. We're going to sing the welcome song, okay? So if your child's watching, be sure to, to comment with their name so I can sing their name in the welcome song, okay? I'd love to sing to your child. Are you ready? We're going to start with Emma. We're going to start with you today, okay? Emma came to school today, school today, school today. Emma came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Emma. Thanks for watching. Uh, next, we're going to sing to Edgar. Ready, Edgar? Edgar came to school today, school today, school today. Edgar came to school today. And so we say, okay hooray! Hi, Edgar. Hello. It's okay if we do happy face, sad face. Not yet. Face. Not yet. Next, we're going to sing to Sophie. Sophie came to school today, school today, school today. Sophie came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Sophie. All right, next let's sing to Serenity. It's your turn, Serenity. Are you ready? Serenity came to school today, school today, school today. Serenity came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Serenity. I hope you're having a good day. All right, let's sing to Ashton. Ashton, it's your turn, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Clap with me, everybody. Ashton came to school today, school today, school today. Ashton came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Ashton. I hope you're having a good day. Let's sing to Paxton next. Are you ready, Paxton? It's your turn. Paxton came to school today, school today, school today. Paxton came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Paxton. Who's next? Mommy. Who else should we sing to? Mommy. Let's sing to Tiago. Tiago, it's your turn. Are you ready? Tiago came to school today. School today. School today. Tiago came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hello, Tiago. How are you? Who's Alec. next? Alec. Alec came to school today, didn't he? Are you ready? Uh -huh. Alec came to school today. School today, school today. Alec came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Thanks for coming, Alec. Glad you mommy. could be here. Miss April? He says, Mommy. Ready? We'll sing Miss April. Miss April came to school today. School today, school today. Miss April came to school today. And so we say, hooray! How about we sing Hazel? Hazel, it's your turn. Are you ready? Sing with us, don't forget to clap. Hazel came to school today, school today, school today. Hazel came to school today, and so we say, hooray! Hello, Hazel. All right, Nora, it's your turn. Ready? Nora came to, do we say Nora? Nora came to school today, school today, school today. Nora came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hello, Nora. Eliza, it's your turn. Are you ready? Ready, Alec? Come sing with me. Here we go. Eliza came to school today, school today, school today. Eliza came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Eliza. All right, Audrey, it's your turn. Are you ready? Audrey came to school today. School today, school today. Audrey came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Audrey. All right, who's next? How about Gavin? Yeah. Gavin came to school today. School today, school today. Gavin came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Gavin. Hi, Gavin. How about Levi? Ready? Levi came to school today, school today, school today. Levi came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Levi. I forgot to get a drink, friends. Everybody needs to go get a drink of water. Are you ready? Go get a drink of water, quick. Could I do the pony song? Are you ready? 
Okay, let's sing to Cain. Ready? Cain, it's your turn. Cain came to school today, school today, school today. Cain came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Cain. Let's sing to Nola. Ready, Nola? It's your turn. Nola came to school today, school today, school today. Nola came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Nola. Oh my goodness. Dakota, if you have a child, send me their name. I'd love to sing to them and thank you. That's so kind of you. All right. Who else? We need to sing to Henry and Leela. Are you ready? Henry, you're first. Henry came to school today, school today, school today. Henry came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Henry. Leela, you're next. Leela came to school today, school today, school today. Leela came to school today. And so we say, hooray! Hi, Leela. Who else should we sing to? Alec really wants to sing you guys a song and play his piano. Do you guys want to see him sing a song and play his piano? Come on over, Alec. Let's play a really quick song. Come on over. I wonder what it's going to be. Bunny song. Come on over so they can see you. Here, I'll hold it for you, or we'll put it right here. Okay. Turn Let's see if we can fix quick. it so they can see. It's going to be loud. Oh, here we go. Okay, can you see, friends? Okay, right here. Right there. Okay, play us a quick song. Last week. piano lessons or they were in piano lessons so Alec is learning to play his little piano too all right let's turn it off now can I help you all right are you guys ready to go do our game should we do our game first let's do our game no oh yeah okay guys we're gonna do a game today instead of a, a craft we're gonna do a game so these are the things you need super easy are you ready you need dice does anybody know what a dice is? <gasps> Hold on a minute. You know what we forgot. We forgot our books. We forgot story time. And these are Alex's favorite books. We can't forget story time. Okay, are you using your manners? Alec is actually five. Is he gonna act like he's five today? Oh good, okay. Whew. And he needs a haircut. If only his brother Max could cut hair, right? <laughs> okay, Max said since he can't cut customer's hair because he cuts hair, right? In his in his barbershop upstairs. Since he can't cut hair, he says he's for his customers, he shouldn't have to cut his brother's hair either. Silly. And then I said, awesome. okay, I'll do it. <laughs> and you won't like it, right? No. Okay, so what were we gonna tell them? If you post a picture of your child doing the activities with us today or maybe something earlier in the week or from a different video, then you are entered to win a prize. So and don't forget to take don't pictures. don't forget. And show us some love, okay? And one more thing, if you want to, if you live here in our area, okay, in Fremont, if you send me in a private message your address, I will come and egg your house for your children to have an egg hunt outside, and okay? And get and he's thinking if dominic sends a message if if he gets to facetime me alec likes to talk to his friend dominic on facetime so if you want to send me a message and your child wants to facetime with alec we would be happy to set that up so that's and talk to him. gavin and gavin all right, if you want to send me a message, Alec would like to FaceTime you if you're one of his friends from Fremont Children's Academy. Okay, are we ready to read books? 
Which one should we read first? Clifford or Curious George? Uh, not cool. Clifford's first, guys. Okay, let me pull my shorts. Get, me, get myself situated here. Are you ready? Okay, this is called Clifford the Big Egg Hunt. All right, here we go. One of Alex's favorites. Do you guys watch Clifford at your house? Have you ever seen Clifford the Big Red Dog? He's huge, but when he was a baby, he was teeny tiny. No, he's big. But he used to be teeny tiny. We, we got he's the so book. Cute. We got the book when he's tiny. We have a book about when he was a teeny tiny baby. Okay, ready? Clifford. It was the day of the big kids and pups egg hunt. Remember the rules, said Sheriff Lewis. The pups find the eggs, the kids pick them up. You guys can have an egg hunt at your house if you send me your address, okay? I will come and hide eggs at your house if you send me your address, okay? Go, said Sheriff Lewis. Charlie went with T-Bone. Vaz went with Cleo. Jetta went with Mac. Oh, look, they're a good team, aren't they, with their doggies? That would be so fun. I bet if we had a dog, it would just eat the egg. Would your dog eat the egg? Or would it say, here's your egg? Probably eat it, right? And Emily Elizabeth went with Clifford. The dog sniffed and sniffed. Look at the dog sniffing around, looking for the eggs. So they can tell their owner, here's the egg, pick this one up. Oh my goodness. Clifford is huge. Clifford was the first to find some eggs. They were high up in the tree. Good thing he's really big, huh? Woof, he barked. You think his, his wolf is really loud? Is it like, woof? Or is it like, woof? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Emily Elizabeth giggled. We can't take these eggs. They belong to Mama Robin. Oh, he found, he found eggs that weren't Easter eggs. He found Robin eggs. Look at that. You see that? He's, he saw the eggs from the bird. He can't take the birdie eggs though, right? Okay, have you guys ever seen eggs in a nest? Oh, you can't touch them, right? So that way the mama bird will take care of them or the daddy bird, but they're cute to look at, aren't they? T-Bone saw an egg under a bench. You see him hiding, the egg, see the egg that's hidden under there? But before he had a chance to bark, Cleo barked first and Vaz picked up the egg. Oh no, trouble in the park, who got it first? What's gonna happen? What do you think's gonna happen? They won't get any, to, then the dogs just rehide them and then they find Do you guys ever have a disagreement with your friends that you think you got it first or they think they got it first or maybe your brother or sister? Let's see how these guys figure this out. Then T-Bone saw an egg on the slide. Look at that. How cool. They're at the park, aren't they? T-Bone saw an egg behind a rock. But before he had a chance to bark, Mac barked first and Jetta picked up the egg. I think we skipped something over here. We skipped this. But before he had a chance to bark, Clifford barked first. Oh, everybody, everybody thinks they got there first. Oh brother, here we go. After a while, everyone had lots of eggs. Everyone but T-Bone and Charlie. Oh, how do you think he felt? How do you think the T dog felt? the dogs just rehide them and then they get How some. do you think they felt though? How do you think T Bone and Charlie felt? They had no eggs. No eggs. Oh, I bet they felt sad, right? They didn't have any. I have no luck, said T Bone to Clifford. You can have some of my eggs, said Clifford. Look at they have no eggs. And here he tells T Bone tells Clifford, I have no eggs. And Clifford said you can have some of mine. That was very kind. No thanks, T-Bone said. I want to find mine myself. Then Clifford had an idea. He told it to Cleo and Mac. Let's hide some of our eggs where T-Bone can find them, said Clifford. Mac didn't like that idea. 
He didn't think it was fair. Oh boy, sometimes things aren't fair, but we have to help people out, right? You see them having a, a little talk about making a plan, what they're gonna do for T-Bone? But it would make T-Bone so happy, said Cleo and Charlie too. Oh, all right, said Mac. How will we get the kids to help us out? Cleo asked. Just watch me, said Clifford. Clifford walked over to Emily Elizabeth. See, look how tiny Emily Elizabeth is compared to the big Clifford. He carefully tipped over her egg basket and one of the eggs fell out. Clifford rolled the egg into the tall grass. See him tipping it over? And there he's rolling the egg into the grass with his big See, paw. I bet he had to be extra careful because he has huge paws and he could smash that egg, right? T-Bone found it right away. Woof, he barked and Charlie picked it up. I bet they're happy now. Cleo walked over to Vaz. She carefully tipped over his basket and one of the eggs fell out. You see, now he is doing it, right? Cleo rolled it over to a tree. Look at her, she's tiny, so I bet it wasn't very hard for her. She just had to roll it with her nose carefully. T-Bone found that one too. Woof, T-Bone barked and Charlie picked it up. Oh, good job, T-Bone. Good job, Charlie, good teamwork. Then Mac tipped over Jetta's basket. See, see him tipping it over to get an egg out? He rolled one of his eggs toward some vines. Oh, yeah, he's hiding he's, it in the vines with his nose. He's medium. He's kind of a medium sized dog, Alex said. I think that's true. Woof, T-Bone barked and Charlie picked up the that's egg. That's number two, that's number two. Oh my goodness. Soon, T-Bone and Charlie had as many eggs as their friends. That is nice. You have lots of eggs now, Clifford said to T-Bone. You are lucky after all. I am lucky, said T-Bone, but not because I found these eggs. I know what you guys did. You put these eggs where I could find them. I'm lucky because I have good friends who want me to be happy. Thanks, guys. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? Look at them all talking. It's good to have nice friends that help you out, right? Even if they have to give some of their things to you, like candy from your Easter eggs. So everyone ate eggs and everyone was happy. Do you think they had candy in their eggs or did they eat eggs? What do you think, Alec? Did they eat hard boiled eggs? Do you guys cook hard boiled eggs at your house well, they ate and then dip them in eggs. Easter egg dye? They, they did that. I remember when I was a kid, we would write on it with a white crayon and then we would dip it into the egg dye and it was like a secret message was hidden on there. Like magic. You guys could try that at home. I bet your parents know the same thing. Okay, guys. Our next book is Curious George Colors Eggs. Have you guys ever seen Curious George at your house? He is curious, isn't he? And you know what I learned this week? Okay. Ellie told us that... He, Curious George likes the man little hat because cause he looks like a banana. Did you hear that? Ellie, my daughter, she told us that the reason George likes the man in the yellow suit or the man in the yellow hat is because he's wearing yellow and he looks like a banana. And monkeys love bananas, don't they? Isn't that super funny? I just learned that, I didn't know that. But I bet it's true, right? Because the man in the yellow hat does wear all yellow. He's in this book, let's read it. All right, Curious George Colors Eggs. There he is, look at him. He's already got a blue egg right there. He's so funny. George was excited. He was spending the day with Betsy and Steve. I love my friend Betsy. If I got to spend the day with my friend Betsy, I would be super happy because she is fun. All right. I don't, I don't know. I don't have any close friends named Steve, but I bet George's friend named Steve is really fun. They were going to dye eggs. There would be an egg hunt later. Are you guys gonna have an egg hunt? If you send me your address, I will set eggs outside so you can have an egg hunt. But you need to live kind of close 
to my area, okay? I can't go to Australia, because last week we had somebody watching from Australia, but I would love to, okay? I would love to. I'm there in, in kindness and spirit, but I can't physically be there right now, right? Because they won't let us drive there, and they won't let us fly there right now. But someday I want to visit Australia. But if you live close by, send me your address and I'll deliver re, eggs to your house tonight. got to remember to save some eggs for Australia. Okay. We'll save we'll some see. eggs for you guys in Australia. All right. They were going to dye eggs because there would be an egg hunt later. The man with the yellow hat gave George an apron. Look. Do you think he looks like a banana? He kind of does. That's so funny. I am leaving for a bird watching, a bird watching trip with... Chef Puschetti. Can you say that? Not spaghetti. Puschetti. Puschetti. That's hard to say. Please try to stay clean while I'm gone, he said. You see him telling George some rules? He put an apron on him so he could stay clean because dying Easter eggs is messy, right? It is messy. You guys should take some pictures of you dying Easter eggs and post George them in the comments and be entered for a prize. George is really tiny. George is really tiny. Okay, this one must be Steve, right? Steve showed George three pots of dye. One was red. See the red one way back in the back? Red. One was blue. And one was yellow. See the blue one? It looks like it's got purple in it. And yellow, you see that? They have three colors, right? These are called primary colors, like Alec told us earlier. He just told us about primary colors, didn't he? You can make every color in the rainbow. Just mix them in different ways. If you mix yellow, let's see, red, what, what color do you want to mix? What's your favorite colors to mix? Red and blue. Red and blue make? Purple. Purple. Okay. George was very curious. Of course, look at him. He's like, he's checking everything out, isn't he? Steve dipped an egg in the yellow dye. You see them dying in straight? Look at how big that pot of dye is. That's a lot of egg color, isn't it? Oh boy. Then Steve dipped the egg in the blue dye. The egg turned green, look at that. First yellow, then blue, and look, it turned green. George had an idea. What's his idea, guys? He dipped a banana in blue dye. Then he dipped it in the red dye. George made the banana turn purple. Oh my word, look at that. Purple banana, have you ever seen a purple banana? I have not. I've seen purple carrots before, have you? And purple potatoes. I've seen purple potatoes too. Yeah. And purple broccoli. Charky was curious too. She wanted to see the purple banana up close. Look at Charky. That's his dog. He's looking. He's looking for it, right? Can you stop doing that noise, Alec? She chased after George, and as they ran, Charky bumped the tables. One started to roll. Oh no, friends. It knocked down a mop. The mop bumped a shelf, and the cake on the shelf started to fall. Nobody wants spilled cake. George jumped, losing his apron. He saved the cake, but it was very heavy. His feet started to slip. Look at that. They were clowning around. His dog was chasing him. and knocked down the cake, but George caught it. And it does look like a heavy cake because it is huge. Do you think it's as big as Clifford? It could be, right? As big as Clifford? And that'd be huge, a huge cake. Oh no, George, Steve cried. He and Betsy grabbed the cake, but George fell into the pot. You were supposed to stay clean, said Betsy. What color did he turn? Uh, yellow, kind of like the man with the yellow hat, right? And like a banana. But George had another idea. If red and blue made purple, could he mix the right colors to make brown? He wants to color himself back to brown, doesn't he? That's smart thinking. Think it's gonna work? George jumped into the red dye, but yellow and red made orange, not brown. 
Look at him. What color is he now? He's orange, isn't he? Oh, goodness. George and his friends heard footsteps in the hall. Oh, my goodness. Who do you think it is? The man, the with, man the with the yellow hat. hat. Quick, hide, Steve said. George jumped into the sink. Can you see him hiding in there? Look at him. How was the egg dying? The man with the yellow hat asked. And where's George? Asked Chef Paschetti. George popped up from the sink. Aw, thanks for staying clean, said his friend. George had picked the perfect hiding spot. What did he do? How did he get to be brown again? Do you guys know? Did he, did he mix colors together to get brown? No, he jumped into the sink and washed all the colors off of him, right? The yellow, what other color did he jump in? He washed the yellow off. He washed, let's see, red, orange, right? He washed all of them off so he could turn brown again because he was originally Let's brown. Let's go to our food craft. Alec wants to do our food craft next, okay? So here's what we need. This is what we're doing today. You don't have to do the same thing. You can improvise. All week we've offered some different ideas for suggestions of different things you could use if you don't have these items at your house. But Friday, I did tell you on Monday that you're gonna need some biscuits or crescent rolls or some bread dough that I posted a recipe for, right? And marshmallows and then like some cinnamon and sugar, okay? So if you wanna plan ahead for Friday's activity, those are the things you're gonna need because we're gonna make kind of a science experiment and a food craft all in one. So you're gonna to wanna to have those ready. We are gonna use crescent rolls and marshmallows, okay? And like a medium-sized marshmallow works better than the little ones, but we have little ones, so that's what we're gonna use. But today you need graham crackers, coconut, blue food coloring, green food coloring, and we're using a cheese stick, but you could use like pretzels or something that's uh, straight, okay? Because we're gonna make a cross with our cheese stick, okay? So first, just like when we do Food Craft Friday at school, we have to wash our hands. Okay, so everybody, go wash your hands and I'll get set up, okay? Wash your hands for 20 seconds. So you need to sing a song, right? And then we're gonna play a game. Here we go. Let's get set up. And we need to show you our chicks that we made from the other day. Okay, can you see? All right, just one moment, please, Alec. Let me wash my hands, okay? Can you sing for me? A. Ready? Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. A, B, C, D. E F J H I J K L L P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my A B C's. Next time we'll do single. Done. Okay, I'm gonna get us a paper plate. Please be careful with that. This We're doing be. some construction outside of our house today. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna scoot the seat out so I can sit by you, okay? All right, we got a paper plate so we can keep our food on the plate. We've got a cheese stick. We've got frosting. We're gonna put a little scoop in here. This is homemade frosting that we made a while back for something else, and we're gonna use a little bit of that. We don't need very much, okay? So we're just gonna use a little bit of frosting. And we need blue. We're gonna put blue food coloring in, in the frosting because we're gonna make this be the sky in the background. And then we need a graham cracker. Little bit, Alec. Graham cracker. Okay. Oh, here. Here, let's use this. We might need another fork now. We'll see. Okay, let's use this to, we're gonna stir up the blue food coloring into the frosting, okay? Because this is gonna be our sky. We're making kind of a portrait. Ah! Wanted to jump out of my hand. Just one moment, I think that's enough. That's enough. Okay, 
Food coloring is very messy, so we don't want to get it on our clothes and on our hands. Look at your hands, Alec. Show him your hands, what it did. Show him your hands. He got blue food coloring on his hands. So you want to be careful. You don't want to get it on your mom's really nice tablecloth. Okay, so we need some frosting and some food coloring. So we're making it blue. Do you see our blue? We're kind of like dyeing eggs, kind of like uh, Curious George did, only we're not doing eggs, we're dyeing frosting and, show them the coconut. And coconut. coconut, okay? We're dyeing that? Yeah, we're gonna make that green for grass. So let's put a little bit of, look at all this frosting you got out. It's always best to wait for your mom or dad or grandma or whoever's helping you so you don't make a bigger mess, right? Or waste ingredients. Okay, so just wait, Alakai. You could take, take my advice, okay? Put a little bit of, we only need a little bit of green, okay? Because this is flaky and doesn't take very much food coloring, okay? So we're putting a little bit of green food coloring in for the grass. Can I help you? Oh, we might be out of green. Oh, there it goes. It's messy, messy, messy. Okay, stir it up. I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Let's see if I can get a little bit more out. I got food coloring all over me now. You wanna hand me a napkin over there, please? We'll see if we can get a little more green out of here. Our green food coloring is almost gone. You wanna go grab that bag and see if we have another green? We're using up some of our supplies since we can't leave to go to the store all the time. We're using all of our supplies up around our house. It's kind of nice. Okay, stir it up, stir it up. This is coconut and food coloring, okay? Coconut and food coloring. Yeah, this kind. Let's see what Alec found. That's yellow, but maybe we can mix a little bit. Oh, it looks green, doesn't it? Yeah. Really green. Is it yellow or green? Green. Okay, let's try that. He brought us, it's kind of yellow, but it kind of mixes together. We could mix, we could mix two colors. Yellow and blue make, let's try it. This is kind of like a science experiment too. Put in a little yellow. Because yellow and blue make green, right friends? We just learned that from Curious George. You wanna stir it for me? It's working! You guys will have to try that and see if you can get it to work too. Okay, let's show them. Look what we made. Green. Okay, so this is coconut. It kind of looks like a... And food coloring. Okay, so now we're gonna put frosting on our graham cracker, okay? And that's gonna help our ingredients to stick and it's gonna be the background of the sky. We're making a portrait of the cross because we're talking about Easter this week, aren't we? Do you want me to put it on or do you want to? I, I think you should set it down here so it doesn't break. There you go. Okay, Alex is gonna spread that out and I'm gonna cut our, our uh, cheese stick for our cross, okay? Be really gentle, because graham crackers do break. Really gentle. All right, we're making a scene of the cross where Jesus was, and that's why we celebrate Easter, right? Because he died on the cross for our sins, and then the good news is that they put him in the tomb and when they rolled the stone away three days later he was gone right where did he go to heaven to heaven and he did all of that so that way we could live in heaven too all Lovely right eating it because it's more like how do we get to heaven do you remember die yeah you gotta die what else Gotta believe in Jesus. Gotta believe that Jesus saved us, right? That's the only way. That's all you gotta do is just believe that Jesus died for your sins and he's the way to heaven. That's it. Easy peasy, right? Okay, how are we doing here? This is our blue sky. All right, can I help you? Are you doing good? Very nice, it looks nice and smooth. Okay, let's turn it. Now let's get some on this side. Here, I'm gonna brush this off. And this off so you can smooth it. Uh oh, missed a spot. Smooth it onto this side. This is a messy food craft, guys. Make sure you're not on a white tablecloth. Awesome! That looks really good. Okay. And we can make Jesus. We can you make. You see his blue on his graham make, cracker? We can make Jesus' house. 
You could. Okay, now we're gonna put some of the coconut on the ground for the grass. And do you know what the grass symbolizes? This is a tricky one. It symbolizes new life, okay? When the grass grows, it's new little grass from seeds. And it symbolizes the new life that we can have if we give our life to Jesus and say, I believe you saved me. Then we can have a new life too. We can be new. All right, so we're gonna put the coconut on. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, okay. We're gonna smoosh it on the bottom here like the grass for new life, right? And the blue is the promise of a new day, right? The blue sky. All right, shake off the extra. We can always have a start over, right? If we confess and say, I'm sorry, I messed up. He will forgive us and we can have a fresh start. Okay, do you see our grass in our sky? Okay, now let's put on the tall part of the cross. You wanna put on the tall part? You, here, let's trim this down. You put on the, the up and down part, the tall part. Ooh, we're getting our cross blue, aren't we? We're getting food coloring on our white cheese stick. Wait, I do, I do. No, I wanna, it's gonna make it gross. I don't like We can get a new one if you don't like frost. Alec doesn't want frosting on his cheese stick. Let's just do it for the craft and then we'll get a new one out of the fridge. We can make a new graham cracker. Let's do it to show our friends how, how this, craft looks okay good now should we break it and put one on each side yeah. all right put one on each side do we need to make them smaller cut your cheese stick in half okay oh wow look at this can I show him yeah. you did a great job Alec look at that friends he's got his cheese stick cross he's got his uh, coconut Grass it for looks new like, life, and looks he's got like a blue sky right for a new camera. day. Yep. All right. Do you want to try a bite like that? You don't want to try it? Okay. Now we're gonna go wash our hands. Okay, guys, and we're gonna play a game. We're gonna teach you a new game. But okay. I'm gonna make my other one. You can make it when we're done playing our game. Okay. Because we got to get our hands clean. Say, okay, mom. We're working on that. Yes, mom. Okay, mom. Because if we just listen, we'll have a better day, right? We'll get to do more things than we even knew. Because sometimes our moms have fun things planned, like go to Sam and Louie's ah! and get free kids meals because we're going to do a homework page, aren't we? I'll see if I can find the one I printed to show you, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to go wash our hands, and we'll be right back, and we're going to play a new game I'm going to teach you. Ready? You go wash your hands in there, and I'll wash my hands in here, okay? We'll go fast. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands so early in the morning. This is the way we rinse our hands, rinse our hands, rinse our hands. This is the way we rinse our hands so early in the morning. Okay, Alec, are you ready? No. Okay, no, I'm going to wipe off the table here. Okay. Are you guys ready for the new game? What's it? And I was going to see if I could find the, the worksheet that I printed. If you guys go to the Facebook page for Sam and Louise, come sit by me over here. Let's see if I got it. I don't know where I put it. Where's your math page that I printed? I don't know where I put the math page I printed. Maybe it's in my car. Okay, but I'll show you how we're gonna do our math page, okay? So, let's get out our eggs. And you get to pick how many you, how many on your dice is how many eggs you get. Okay. <laughs> you have a blue tongue. Alec has a blue tongue, guys, from the food coloring. <laughs> okay, so at Sam and Louie's right now, I'm not even joking. If you go to their Facebook page and you print out one of their math worksheets, the money one's my favorite because if you work at a restaurant like Sam and Louie's, you're gonna need to know how to do math that's involving money, right? So if you print out one of their worksheets and you do it and you bring it into their store, you get a free kid's meal. I do not know where I put, oh, I think I know where it's at. 
Yay, I found it. Look, look, look. Okay, look, here's one of the worksheets, okay? So Alec doesn't really know how to do math yet because he's still in preschool. So we're gonna learn with candy and eggs and you guys could do this at home too, okay? So after you, I hide uh, some candy and some eggs at your house, you could do this too, right? Okay, I got so five. One moment, please. If you set out some candy, okay? Make a big pile of candy here. And you find one of the questions. So we're gonna say, what is two plus, plus one? one. Okay, the, the subtraction one is my favorite because then I get the candy. This one, Alec gets the candy. So, if I have two pieces of candy to give you, one, two, two. okay, two, plus one, sit down please. Plus one. And I give you one more, that how makes... many do you have? Three. Oh, you spit. Can you go get a tissue? Here we go. Three. Three. He got so excited. Okay. So then you take a pencil and you write the number three. Can you write a three? A three looks like that. Write it right there. Right down below this one. Two plus one equals three. Okay? Bump, bump. Good. Our table is hard to write on. Good work, Alec. Okay, let's show them. Do you see that? Three. Okay, so if you now finish I, your homework. Now I can eat these. Not yet. We need them for the rest of our worksheet, right? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. One plus one. So if I give you one, and then you say, please, may I have one more? Please, may I have one more? And I give you one more. How many do you have? One plus one equals? Two. Two. Okay, so that's a really fun way to work on your math. Okay, so now you got to write it. Then we got some fine motor skills going here. So this is one plus one equals two. So this is a two. You got to write that number down there. Oh, this is tricky. No wonder you get free food. Okay, guys. He's got two of his problems done already, okay? So that's one thing we're gonna work on today. So I was surprising Alec with a free kid's meal from Sam and Louie's if he finishes his page, okay? So that's how we're gonna do it. Or you could use eggs, or you could use anything to, to teach your child how to do that activity, okay? And then if you bring it into Sam and Louie's, you get a free kid's meal. So we're gonna do that today, okay? And I think they have curbside delivery, so you don't even have to go inside. All right, so you can stay safe and have yummy food at the same time and get some math in. All right, now for our game, because we're not doing a craft today, we're doing a game. So you need clean hands. Do you have clean hands still? Yes. Oh, okay, so you're gonna need some dice. All right, we're gonna use one dice. If you have older kids, you could use uh, two dice, okay? We have four here technically because Alex grandma in his Easter basket Alec gets spoiled, okay? Actually, Bentley got it. Bentley got Monopoly, a Monopoly game, okay? So, Monopoly fast. I'm gonna close this, this curtain here so you can see what we're doing. Okay, and so now, it's, sit down. Even, it's smaller time than, it's way smaller than, than five minutes. Okay, so you need a bunch of eggs, okay? And you gotta break them open, okay? Bunch of eggs, bunch of eggs. Can, Okay, you got clean hands? Mm -hmm. Scoot all of our food craft stuff out of the way so you guys can see. Okay, so we need a bunch of eggs. A bunch of eggs. Crack them open and set them down here. This is the game we're playing today. We're not doing a, a craft. We're gonna do a game, an Easter game. Okay, and then you need a dice, okay? So, and you need somebody hopefully to play with you, but you could play this by yourself. If you don't have any brothers or sisters, or you don't have anybody living with you, or you're not at school, or you, your parents can't play, they're busy, you could do this by yourself. And this is another math game, and it is challenging. Okay, so we're gonna roll the dice, and whatever it says, that's how many pieces you have to stack eggs on the tower. And the person who makes it tip, tip over first does not win, okay? All right, Alec is the youngest, so he's gonna go first, okay. Easy peasy, he got one. One, okay, my turn. Two. All right, now I stack it on top. One, two. Okay, your turn. 
No cheating, friends. I got this. Oh, count him. What is it? He got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Ooh. Oh, no. I'll give you a redo. One. I'm going to start with this. Okay. One. Good thinking. Two. two. Three. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I won! I won! Oh, good job, Alec, for trying. Was that a good fun game? That was this not was, fun. This was our first time playing, so I think we need to let Alec practice. Should we let him practice? So, anyway. What's what your strategy, down? Alec? Do you know what strategy is? It's a game plan, right? Six! He got six again! Okay, let's start over. We're starting over. <laughs> Go ahead. Six. Pick six. See all of our eggs, guys? We have a lot of eggs. You you put six. One. Okay, one. Let's put it right here. Two. He's picking all the bottoms three, of the eggs. He's picking the short part. Four. Oh! Hey, that was not. I won again. This, <laughs> this is practice, right? That's what we always say. Way too bad. It's a tricky game. It's really tricky. How about we... I'm going to do a challenge. Okay, more. can I have a turn? Let me see if I can do six, okay? How about I just try to do six? One, two, three, four. four. They're wiggly and slick. Five. <laughs> I think I can if get six. If it's on yours, I get the candy. Ah, he thinks he wins the candy. That's a good prize. Parents, if you want to win your kids' candy, win at this game, right? And, oh, 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 no. You lost. Oh, it hasn't fallen down yet. You can only, oh, it fell down. I get to keep I lost too. What did you think of that game? That was That's pretty fun, right? I got the candy. You could use just the tops and see if you can get it that way. Let's try six this way. One, two. Three, four. Can we do? Can we do five? Five. <gasps> can we do six? Let's do pink at the top. Six. Woo! Who would have known the taller ones were easier? What if we do this on the top? Let's see how tall we can get it. Ready? Seven. This one's good too. Yeah. this yes. or should we do the little ones the big one you try this is 11 let's see let's do blue for our very grand finale oh oh it's littler oh 11 we did it no no we have to do one more okay one more 12 no no should we do a big one we have to do all of them all for eggs uh oh uh oh Ah, I crashed. Oh, ah, I got the three. The I got the three. I got the three. Okay, guys, send me some pictures of you guys doing either our food craft today. You want to see Alex food craft again? Or playing our new game, okay? Here's his food craft, right? Cheese stick and uh, coconut and graham crackers and frosting. Who doesn't love graham crackers and frosting? Okay? Okay. And don't forget to take pictures and post them so you can win a prize. And you'll be entered to win a prize. Go to Sam and Louie's, right? Do your homework. Do your math challenge. Go to, home, dinner, go to Sam dinner, and Louie's with your homework. Dinner. You have to bring your homework with you, okay? And go get your free kids meal. And then <clears throat> send me your address. Ask your parents to see if it's okay. It has to be okay with your parents. If you can send me your address in a private message, and I will come and I will hide eggs at your house for you to find. All Kids, of our friends do at do not hear this. Friends at Fremont Children's Academy, we're gonna finish you guys up today. So if you didn't get yours yesterday, when you get home or when you wake up from your nap, you might have a surprise outside. Okay, so don't forget to send us your address. And or what else? Are we might, oh yeah, or we might do <clears throat> Gavin again. And also on Friday, remember you're gonna need some some items for our food craft. You're going to need. 
uh, crescent rolls or biscuits or homemade bread rolls, right? That I posted the recipe so you could make homemade bread. Dough, just the dough and marshmallows, okay? And you're gonna need some other stuff. And we got, They're easy, and like we cinnamon got and sugar. Eggs and inside, guess what? It looks like yolk, but it's actually frosty. His grandma gave him Cadbury eggs too. Mm. Thank you, grandma. Okay, so for good. Friday, you're gonna need a few items for our food craft. And I would love it if you guys would do it with us because it's another Easter food craft, okay? So biscuits or crescent rolls or something and marshmallows, okay? And then cinnamon and sugar if you want cinnamon sugar on them and there might be some butter involved. Who doesn't love butter? Okay, so those are the main ingredients you're gonna need, okay? And it's easy and it is if gonna be a wanna, science. If you wanna make a, a Easter bunny candy set up, you could, you could put candy that looks like eggs and, and you could hide it and your mom could hide it and you could find it and you can hop away. Oh, you could hop to find it. That's a great idea. Here's our Easter basket that our grandma made for us last year. It's out of an old milk carton and she used some construction paper. She put some Easter grass at the bottom. She used some googly eyes and a marker to draw the face. And look, it's got a handle, okay? And it's out of a milk jug. I think that's a great idea because this is really easy to carry when you're hunting eggs quickly. And um, it uses a recyclable. Okay, all right. Then we're also gonna have, please stop. We're gonna have another activity for you on Friday, okay? It's an Easter activity that you need eggs, okay? Your empty eggs. You forgot to make mine. Use. One moment, please. And then we're gonna give you some ideas for activities and we're gonna play a game, okay? So we have another game. We, I don't think we're gonna have a craft on Friday. We're gonna have a game with Easter eggs and we're gonna have a food craft. Okay guys, Alec, come say goodbye. I'm gonna see if he can make my tongue. Come, come say, Alec is seeing if he can make his tongue green from the food coloring in the coconut. I can't remember coconut today. Okay, do you wanna come say goodbye? It worked, look at his mouth. I like the reason. He's going to scare the people at Sam and Louie's when he gets his free kids meal, right? Okay, guys. Bye. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to take pictures, okay? I'll see you later. Bye. I'm done.